Java, a high-level multi-paradigm programming language famous for its ability to compile to platform independent by code. In this video, I will show you how you can install Java onto your Ubuntu operating system. So to install Java JDK, so just go to your favorite browser and search for download Java JDK and just go to this first link from oracle.com. So at the time of recording this video, so Java 18 is the latest version. So I will go with Java 17, which is the long term support. So if you read here, so Java 18 will receive the update under this condition until September 2022 only. So it means it will be receiving the updates only until September 2022. So but the Java JDK 17 is the LTS support. So it means it will be supported until 2024. So I will just go with Java 17. So if you want to install Java 18, the procedure is similar. So just go down here and just choose this Linux and at the bottom. So you can see the Debian package. So just click on this link. So this will automatically start downloading the Debian file for installing the Java JDK. So once this Debian file is downloaded, so let me just go into the folder and let me just right click here and open in terminal and just type sudo dpkg i and just type JDK and just press and tap. So this will automatically detect the file name and just click enter and enter your password. So this will install the Java JDK. So now to check where the Java JDK is installed. So you can just type ls and just type slash usr slash lib and just type slash just type jvm and just click enter. So you can see the name of Java JDK is Java JDK 17 and it's installed inside user and live inside the JVM. So once this Java JDK is installed, so we just need to update the alternative. So for that, just type sudo. So I will put all the commands into the description so you can directly copy from there as well. But you need to make sure to check the version of Java. So for that, just type sudo update and just type dash or hyphen and just type alternative so you can just press and tap so this will automatically auto complete and just type hyphen hyphen install and just type slash usr slash bin and just type java and again just type java just give one space and type java and just type slash usr again and just type lib slash jvm and you just need to press and tap so this will automatically detect the name of java jdk which you have just installed and just type bin and just type java and just type one and just click enter so if it shows something like update alternative in auto mode it means it has successfully updated the alternatives so similarly we just have to do the same thing for java compiler as well so for that just press an up arrow and this will automatically reload this command and just replace this java with java c and here as well just replace this by java c and again just replace this by java c and just click enter so this will update the java compiler as well so let me just clear the terminal and if i just type now java hyphen version so this should show the java version which we have just installed so java version 17.0.3.1 so similarly for checking the Java compiler version, so we can just type Java C hyphen version. So you can see the Java compiler 17 has been successfully installed. So once we install the Java JDK, so we just need to configure the Java home inside the environment variable. So for that we can just type sudo and just type update and just type alternatives and just type hyphen hyphen config and just type java and just click enter so you can see the path here so we just need to copy this path from here from this slash user up to this java jdk 17 so let me just copy this path from here and for opening the environment so we just need to type so just type sudo and just type get it and just type slash etc and just type environment and just click enter and at the bottom here so let me just type java in capital letter and also give the underscore and just type home and just give equals to and just give the inverted comma here and just type control and b to paste that path and just give slash at the last here and let me just 
type control and s to save this file and just type source and just type slash etc and just type environment and just click enter so now this should refresh the environment variable so if i just type echo and just type dollar and just type java and underscore home and just click enter so now this should show the java home as well so this is how you install the java jdk into your ubuntu operating system so now to write the first program so let me just go again into the browser and let me just download one id which is called intel ij so let me just type intel ij and just type download and just go to this first link from zbrains.com and i will just go with the community version so which is free and let me just click on this download so once this star file is downloaded so let me just go into the folder and let me just double click to extract this star file and let me just click on extract so let me just extract it inside home or you can extract wherever you want so let me just directly click on show in files or you can just go into the location where you have installed and let me just go inside here and inside the bin and let me just right click here and just click on open in terminal and if i just type dot slash and if i just type idea and just dot sh and just click enter so now this should start the intelize so let me just agree the license agreement and just click on continue let me just click on done send so you can see here so this is showing the welcome page here so now if i just click on new project here and let me just give the name of the project something like hello world or you can give any name and you can see the jdk so it has automatically detected the oracle java jdk 17 which we have just installed and let me just click on create so this will create the new java project so inside this source so we can just right click here and just click on new and java class and let me call it demo class and just click enter and inside here so let me just type main so this will automatically suggest us to write the main method and if i just click on enter so this will show public static void main so for writing the or printing something so i will just type as out so this will automatically write system.out.println and let me just give the code and just type something like hello world so here at the bottom you can see so it's indexing so once this is done so let me just right click here and just click on run main demo class dot main so this will run this project or this java program here so once you run the program so at the bottom so you can see the output hello world so this is how you install java jdk onto your ubuntu operating system and also install intelize id to write your first java program thank you so much for watching if you like my video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next one.